Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another great episode of the Fan Club. It's your boy, d Bros in the building. Guys, we got a crazy episode. Uh, we are going to be talking about Lego Ninjago, the new movie. It came out... Uh, not this weekend, but the past weekend. So we got 10 days of revenue added up. Um, they had a $70 million budget. 70 mil, pretty good, especially for an animated movie. And they're only at $35 million made back up in 10 days. It's not looking so hot for Lego Ninjago. So let's talk about this. Uh, so the first movie they came out with about two years ago was the Lego movie, and that did very, very well. And, with the, you know, I think when they first released the Lego movie, there was a lot of people that were like, oh, man, oh, snap, I've never seen a Lego movie before. Let's go check this out. And then we had the good old Batman Lego movie last year, and... That was a Batman IP. People are going to see that because it's Batman. I know I did. I, I thought it was really cool. And, you know, it was decent. It wasn't the greatest animated movie ever, but it was Batman. And, you know, it was kind of cool to see their characters and how they put together their Batman world universe, as you will. Um, and then we got Lego Ninjago. Now, Ninjago is one that I guess... It was on Cartoon Network a few years ago. My son kind of watched it. He had one toy, um, but it never really stuck in our household. And with a lot of his friends, a lot of other kids around here, Ninjago was never a huge hit. Now, I, I know it's a successful brand for them, for boys, but... When I saw they were coming out with this, I was really wondering, I wonder if that's going to stick because it never stuck in my household, didn't stick in a lot of other households. And the one name that I thought was weird, they never came out with a Bionicle Lego movie. And that came out when I was a kid. Kids still play with that stuff. But yeah, the the Ninjago movie was just a, a weird one, I want to say. And... It, there wasn't a lot of people that were like, oh my god, I'm such a huge Ninjago fan, I gotta go spend all of my money. And it was was one of those things where it is underperforming, but the good thing about it being a kid's movie and it being a Lego movie is maybe they can make back their money with the merchandise. That is a huge thing, and at least they have the Lego Ninjago brand uh, especially the movie toys that maybe there will be a hot sale this Christmas and they can make up, you know, millions and millions of dollars that they, they ended up losing. But I think by the end of the first round of it being in theaters, we're hoping it can just make its money back, like, you know, make the 70 mil to to get, you know, back up to zero. <laughs> That's horrible, guys. It's horrible. But... It's not, it, it's not as bad as you think. They still have a toy brand they can push. I don't think, well, I can tell you, we're not going to get a Lego Ninjago 2 movie, but it was a safe, safe call now to say that, you know, not every Lego movie is going to hit. You have to have the right IPs. And that is really a big thing with any brand is not many people connected or liked Ninjago is I think that, they really thought because never was a Ninjago fan, you know, and some of these things that Lego has, they have to bring out the fandom, bring out the nostalgia. And that's one thing that they did in the first two movies, because obviously they had Lego Batman in the Lego movie. They brought the nostalgia and they had Will Ferrell. It was it was very, very cool. And then obviously it was nostalgic. I mean, Lego Batman, like how many times have we played Legos and we got the Batman or we had the Star Wars, you know, like there's so many different ways. And I think the next thing that they should focus on, I don't know how they do this, but I know Lego Star Wars and Lego Harry Potter, those two series of toys have been around and have been huge sellers Christmas after Christmas. If you're going to do another Lego movie, you do something with an IP, a big IP. 
I'm not just talking something little now. I don't know, Marvel, DC. You already got something with DC, so maybe you can make a DC Justice League. And I know they already have some of these straight-to-DVD movies going out, but people are buying those. That's actually selling. I think that would be awesome if they came out with a Lego movie of either... My top three is either, you know, superheroes, DC, or Marvel. I don't care. I like... I mean, we like all the characters. I mean, I like Batman or Spider-Man. It doesn't matter... Give me a superhero one with like a bunch of them or give me a Harry Potter Lego or give me a Star Wars Lego movie because I think that would be awesome. Obviously, some of the best selling games for Lego they ever came out with were the Lego Star Wars games. Huge hit. So they already have a fan following with those. Um, What do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think I'm too hard on Ninjago? Did you actually think it was a good movie? It's just not getting the rep? Or are you with me? You know, they should have done a little bit more. They, they should have picked another uh, Lego form of movie to come out. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know what to do, guys. And thank you so much for tuning into the fan club. Check us out next time. Thank you.